do you know that one of the core purposes of your existence is for you to be grateful? Naam. Allah says in the Quran, Wallahu akhrajakum min butuni ummahatikum la ta'lamuna shay'a wa ja'ala lakum al-sam'a wal-absara wal-af'idah la'allakum tashkurun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you and he did not know anything. And Allah given you sight given you hearing and given you hearts. Why? So perhaps you may be grateful. May Allah make you all among those who are grateful. Amin Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, are you grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You have to continuously ask that question. You know, for the ability to see, the fact that you can see me, you appreciate that or you got used to it? Yes, we got used to it. But sometimes you have to sit down with kuru ni'matallahi alaykum and just think of Allah's blessings upon you. Are you grateful that you can hear me? I have a relative of mine. A cousin of mine, one time we were sitting and then she saw us laughing and she was crying. Why? Because she cannot understand what we're saying because my cousin is deaf. Did you appreciate that? Something to truly ponder upon. True story, I'm telling you this second person, one of my own teachers. He was invited to a multi-millionaire who had 600, I'm aware, I'm aware of the number, 600 million dollars in cash, cash. I'm not saying buildings, apartments, no, in cash. 2.5 billion ringgits, if, I'm, if I calculate the currency correctly. Okay, depending on the day. So every lecture I had to change the number depending on the society. Okay? So this man with that much wealth, he had two children, a boy who left him to go to the Gulf to begin his own career. You have people like that. I want to build my own future and things like that. His daughter married another man, so he was alone with his wife. As they were driving, they got into a car accident. This man's wife passed away on, this, on that scene. May Allah grant her Jannah. And grant Jannah to all those who passed away amongst us. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Then this man was completely paralyzed. Cannot move a single muscle. Then what happened? The driver remained alive. As if Allah purposely has done that in order for the driver to serve the one who is paralyzed. So the sheikh was invited over because the rich man wants to talk to him, just express things to him. He said, you see this bed right beside me? No, the man speaking is paralyzed on the bed. You see, you see the other bed? This is the bed of the driver. He sits by me to serve me. He said to the Shaykh, I swear by Allah, there are nights that come that I just want to itch my back, but he cannot do it. So I would tell the driver, please, if you can assist me with that. But there are nights where I have requested that request so many times, I feel bad for him every time I would wake him up. So there are nights that come, I want to itch my back, and I, I cannot do it, and I feel bad to wake him up. So I say out loud to myself, who would take 600 million dollars in cash for one hand? Who would take 600 million dollars in cash for one hand? You are all millionaires, but many of you perhaps never noticed that. Say Alhamdulillah. And you see when you recognize the blessing, how perhaps your Alhamdulillah comes more from the heart? And that's our practice that you should be doing. Allah says, وَذْكُرُوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ Continuously recognize Allah's blessings upon you and this is the sense that you will get. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also wants you to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala verbally. When you're done with eating your food, say alhamdulillah. When something difficult happens to you, something that you see which you do not like, the Prophet's attitude, you know what he used to say? He used to say, alhamdulillahi ala kulli hal. Can we inshallah adopt this action item, inshallah? Any time you see something, someone double parked you, you go for Jum'ah prayer, someone blocks you, right? Like, Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal, right? You're like, wow, mashallah, you're very righteous. Are you single? Right? They're like, subhanAllah. The point being is that you try to have that attitude. Allah will bless you. Alhamdulillah tamla al mizan. We'll fill up the mizan for you. May Allah make your mizan yawm al qiyamah heavy. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Fa'amma man thaqulat mawazinu, fahuwa fi ishidan radiyya. May Allah grant it to all of you. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. He appreciated that. When the Prophet saw something that he likes, he also said what? Alhamdulillah. But then he said, Alhamdulillah, alladhi bi ni'matihi tatimmu salihat. 
that the one by his blessings, good things happen. Allah, look how he attributes it to Allah. May Allah make us grateful, Amin Rabbil Alameen. Physically is the top notch. May Allah make us reach that level. Physically is where you do the obligatory acts and that's the number one thing which Allah loves. Allah said this authentic hadith, Qudusi. The most beloved thing Allah loves from us and that gets you close to Allah is when you do, do the obligatory acts. If you're truly grateful to Allah for your ears, you will do your best not to be involved in backbiting. Wallahi, if you have this concept of gratitude, gratitude becomes the pillar for you to stop sinning. Isn't that right? Out of shame. If you remember the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, when the lady ghalaqat al-abwab, correct, she locked all the doors. She said, hey, talak, I'm all yours. And Yusuf alayhi salam was there. What did he do? He says, innahu rabbi, huh, continue, ahsana mathwai. He said, my Lord has blessed me. How can I do that? Gratitude was help, what helped him. You guys paying attention. Gratitude was what made him patient. Is that he recognized Allah's blessings upon him. He's like, how can I use my beauty in such fashion? Allahu Akbar. May Allah make us like Yusuf alayhi salam. Amir Rabbil Alameen. Enhance in this as well. May Allah make you as handsome as Yusuf. Like both patient and grateful. Amir Rabbil Alameen. Something to truly appreciate. Another thing that you can do physically there's something from the sunnah that is called sajda to shukur You guys know that? Which literally speaking, you hear some amazing news. For example, one time I was taking a course called heat transfer. That's a mechanical engineering third year. And I was looking at the final grades and I got an A+. Plus. So, wallahi, out of, and sometimes you get so happy, you don't know what you're doing, right? So I saw a guy beside me, I kissed him. He's like, what are you doing? Then I'm like, oh, sajda to shukur And I went down. That's a way to be grateful to Allah. Just randomly drop on the floor and make such a shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ulama, they said, you don't have to have wudu. You don't have to face the qibla. You can just drop there. You don't have to like, oh, where the hijab? No, no, just drop there and make such to Allah and thank Allah for the blessings and feel free to make dua besides that great gratefulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we shall do that? You know, one time when I learned this, I was a lot younger. Yeah? So I used to love a football team. So when they got a penalty kick, I went down, sajid shukr. I'm like, is that why you use that sunnah of Rasulullah sallam? Yeah, he used it, why not? Penalty kick, goal, bismillah, go sajid shukr. Well, how beautiful is it when you see a player going down in sajda? Isn't it nice? SubhanAllah, may Allah make us humble, Amir Rabbil Alameen, and practice the deen the way Allah wants us to practice it. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.